Othmar Hermann Ammann March 26, 1879 to September 22, 1965, was a Swiss-American structural engineer whose bridge designs include the George Washington Bridge, Verrazano Narrows Bridge, and Bayonne Bridge. He also directed the planning and construction of the Lincoln Tunnel. Topic biography Othmar Ammann was born near Schaffhausen, Switzerland in 1879. His father was a manufacturer and his mother was a hat maker. He received his engineering education at the Polytechnicum in Zurich, Switzerland. He studied with Swiss engineer Wilhelm Ritter. In 1904, he emigrated to the United States, spending much of his career working in New York City. He became a naturalized citizen in 1924. In 1905 he briefly returned to Switzerland to marry Lily Selma Werley. Together they had three children Werner, George, and Margot before she died in 1933. He then married Clary Vogt Notesley, herself recently widowed. In 1935 in California, Ammon wrote two reports about bridge collapses, the collapse of the Quebec Bridge and the collapse of the original Tacoma Narrows Bridge, Galloping Jerdy. It was the report that he wrote about the failure of the Quebec Bridge in 1907 that first earned him recognition in the field of bridge design engineering. Because of this report, he was able to obtain a position working for Gustav Lindenthal on the Hellgate Bridge. By 1925, he had been appointed bridge engineer to the Port of New York Authority. His design for a bridge over the Hudson River was accepted over one developed by his mentor, Lindenthal. Lindenthal's North River Bridge designs show an enormous, 16-plus lane bridge that would have accommodated pedestrians, freight trains, rapid transit, and automobile traffic. The bridge, which would have entered Manhattan at 57th Street, was rejected in favor of Ammon's designs primarily due to cost reasons. Ultimately, this became the George Washington Bridge. Under Ammon's direction, it was completed six months ahead of schedule for less than the original $60 million budget. Ammon's designs for the George Washington Bridge, and, later, the Bayonne Bridge, caught the attention of master builder Robert Moses, who drafted Ammon into his service. The last four of Ammon's six New York City bridges, Triborough, Bronx Whitestone, Throgs Neck, and Verrazano Narrows Bridge were all built for Moses's Triborough Bridge and Tunnel Authority. In 1946, Ammon and Charles Whitney founded the firm Ammon and Whitney. In 1964, Ammon opened the Verrazano Narrows Bridge in New York, that had the world's longest suspended span of 4,260 feet 1,300 meters, and the world's heaviest suspension bridge of its time. The Verrazano Narrows Bridge is currently the 11th longest span in the world and longest in the Western Hemisphere. Ammon also assisted in the building of the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco, currently ranked 12th. Topic works Ammon designed more than half of the 11 bridges that connect New York City to the rest of the United States. His talent and ingenuity helped him create the two longest suspension bridges of his time. Ammon was known for being able to create bridges that were light and inexpensive, yet they were still simple and beautiful. He was able to do this by using the deflection theory. He believed that the weight per foot of the span and the cables would provide enough stiffness so that the bridge would not need any stiffening trusses. This made him popular during the Depression era when being able to reduce the cost was crucial. Famous bridges by Ammon include the following, George Washington Bridge opened October 24, 1931 Bayonne Bridge opened November 15, 1931 Triborough Bridge opened July 11, 1936 Bronx Whitestone Bridge opened April 29, 1939 Walt Whitman Bridge opened May 16, 1957 Throgs Neck Bridge opened January 11, 1961. Verrazano Narrows Bridge opened November 21, 1964. The George Washington Bridge was originally designed to have its steel structure clad in dressed stone, omitted from the final design due to cost constraints stemming from the Great Depression. Ammon's managerial skills saw the bridge completed ahead of schedule and under budget. The arched Bayonne Bridge is the only Othmar design that is not a suspension bridge. The Bronx Whitestone Bridge had to be reinforced after only one year of operation because of perceptible movement during high winds. Warren trusses were initially implemented to stiffen the bridge, spoiling its classic streamlined looks. They have been removed and the wind problem solved using triangular-shaped lightweight fiberglass aerodynamic fairing along both sides that slices the wind as it passes over the bridge. In addition to his work on bridges, Ammon also directed the planning and construction of the Lincoln Tunnel. 
Topic legacy Through his career, Ammon was the recipient of several awards, including the Thomas Fitch Rowland Prize 1919, the Metropolitan Section Civil Engineer of the Year 1958, the Ernest E. Howard Award 1960, and the National Medal of Science 1964. .In 1962, a bronze bust of Ammon was unveiled in the lobby of the George Washington Bridge Bus Station. A residence hall called Ammon College was dedicated in his honor on February 18, 1968 on the campus of Stony Brook University. To mark the 100th anniversary of his birth, a memorial plaque for Ammon was placed near the Verrazano Narrows Bridge on June 28, 1979. Topic references Topic Further reading Topic External links Ammon and Whitney Othmar Herman Ammon Information at Structura Othmar Ammon's Glory, Genius, Willpower and Thousands of Miles of Steel Wire went into the George Washington Bridge Othmar Ammon's Glory, a description of the design of the George Washington Bridge and Ammon's rivalry with Lindenthal Othmar Ammon, provides dates of death, election to the Academy, and citation photo Isabel Leibold Johnson November 20, 2006. Swiss design in Big Apple spans generations. Swissinfo. Othmar Ammon, Facts and Quotes from ASCE.